I'm really late to the party on this one. All of you guys make the most amazing things in your air fryer. And I don't know what it is. I just, I guess it's because of the way that I was raised and how I learned to cook. But I've always been in the mindset that you can cook anything on your stove or in your oven. And I just never really thought I needed an air fryer. I even went to the lengths of buying my little sort of fake air fryer, sort of the pan with the basket. And that did really good, don't get me wrong. You know what, if you wanna spend 10 bucks, that gets things pretty crispy. And I really enjoyed using it, but little did I know the wonders of what you can do with your air fryer. So I have spent the last month kind of doing a version of Will It Air Fry on everything that I have in the freezer, the fridge, and the pantry. By the way, you guys, that sounds like a really fun video, doesn't it? Will It Air Fry? If that sounds fun to you and you want to see me air fry anything I can find, let's do that. Hopefully I don't, you know, ruin my air fryer, but that would be a really fun thing to try different things out. Let me know in the comments. Anyway. Okay, I am gonna start with two things that I have been eating the heck out of. So I actually fried these so you guys could see. I wonder if you guys have ever seen these before. So these, see, they almost look like a tater tot, except they're not. This is what they are. They're onion tots. So I thought they looked interesting. There are four smart points for eight of them. And again, I'm going to show this to you. It's big. Like if it gives you a, it's big. Oh my gosh. They're so good. It tastes like an onion ring. I love them. I never eat onion rings because they're kind of point pricey. But see, let me tell you what the ingredients are in here. It says organic millet. I don't know what that is. Um, organic onion flake, organic granulated onion, sea salt, and sunflower oil. That's it. That's all that's in. I love fried pickles. When I wasn't on WW, I would order them all the time and eat a whole basket of them. I love them. Well, they are back in my life. You can have, these are the ones that I'm using. I've tried these, by the way, you guys, in the oven. It does not work. You know when the breading like pulls away from the pickle? I don't like that. That is not, that is not delicious to me, okay? Seven pickles for six smart points. I did some for you. Look at that. Total perfection. Watch. Crispy. These are a winner. You know, I'm going to have to count some points for this video because I'm eating all this stuff. Okay, my next one, you may have heard of before, non bread. I love non bread. If you've never heard of it, it's like a puffy, um, soft bread. It's super delicious, usually used in Indian food to sop up delicious liquids of some sort. So, non bread, you get two in this um, container, but do not be fooled by that. You get four servings in each container. So this is one piece of non bread. And what I do is I cut it in half this way, because obviously if you go this way, I mean, come on, somebody's getting ripped off. So I cut it this way. I put it in the air fryer with a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter and some garlic salt. And I put it in there for like a minute. Oh my gosh, you guys. You can even put a little Parmesan cheese on there. So one half of a piece of non bread is five smart points. You guys know how I do foil pack chicken all the time. It's like a staple. I make it all the time. And basically all that is, is chicken breast that I cut up into chunks and then I season it. I put it in a freezer bag, let it sit overnight or more. And then I usually do it in a foil pack in the oven. Well, now I can do it in the air fryer 
for zero points. Now I'm going to show you a raw bag of chicken. So if you're sensitive, you know, leave the room. See, so you use this and all you do, you guys, you take this chicken, see it's all seasoned. This one has um, bourbon barbecue seasoning on it. Yum. So I just throw this in the air fryer usually for 20 minutes and it's absolutely perfect. And then I like to put little, cause it's already cubed up. I like to put little toothpicks in it and get some sugar-free honey mustard and dip it in that. Next, while we're on chicken, I like to do these chicken patties in the air fryer. And again, I used to do them in the oven, but I just didn't like how they came out. Same thing, when the breading pulls away from the protein it's on, I just think that's gross. It just doesn't taste good to me. But when you do these in the air fryer, it's delicious. So these are six points for one patty, but you can get them so crispy. This is another one I love to do in the air fryer that I would have never thought of doing before. And that is the cauliflower crust pizza. You can have a half of this whole pizza. And I have found that to be true of, I believe I got this one at Aldi, but any of the ones I've gotten at Walmart or Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, any of them of the cauliflower crust pizzas are generally 10 points for one whole half a pizza. And for those of you who don't know, because I've scanned a bunch of them, usually it's 11 to 12 points for one quarter of a pizza on just like a regular store-bought pizza. So it's a really good bang for your buck. What I do if I'm gonna do this as a snack is I go ahead and cut it in half, then cut it in a quarter. So I will take one quarter of that and then cut that up into pieces and do it in the air fryer. So I don't know, to me there's just something about making something a little bit hors d'oeuvre and it feels like you're getting a little bit more and it's more satisfying. So you could take five points on this. If you wanted to do it for dinner, you could take 10 points, but it's really good. Pizza in the air fryer, totally works. This next one is a really good one that I like to have as a snack if I have extra points. So this is turkey kielbasa. And what I like to do is I'll do this in the air fryer and it's, let's see, you can have five ounces for six points. So depending on how much you want, like five ounces is probably about that much, but depending on how much you want, I just cut it up. And then once I've opened it, you know, of course I put it in a freezer bag, put it back in the fridge or in the freezer, but you can just cut this up and it is such a good little high protein snack. So this is pizza crust. You get five servings in this whole roll. So if you guys have ever seen this before, this makes a really big pizza. So what I do is I open this up and then I kind of just spread it out or roll it out with my roller. And then I take a pizza cutter and I cut one fifth. One fifth of this is five smart points. So once I have one fifth of it out, next I take that one fifth piece, which is gonna be my one serving, and I cut that up into five pieces. I just take my pizza cutter and just cut through it. Now you have these long strips of dough and then I just roll them. Remember when you used to play with the Play-Doh and you'd make like a snake? That's what I do, I just roll it like that. Now a couple videos ago I showed you guys in one of my meal preps how I use these little containers and I make everything but the bagel seasoning in here along with a little bit more garlic powder and a little salt and whatever seasoning I want, onion powder. And I put it in one of these little containers, perfect for what we're gonna do. I then take the little sort of snake that I made and I roll it in everything but the bagel seasoning. Or if I want something that's more of like a dessert, then I roll it up in the cinnamon and sugar that I made. Throw it in the air fryer, delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on air fryer snacks. I know that I certainly did. I have a lot more that I'm gonna try. And let me know below, let me know what your favorite air fried snack is. <music>